with the release of the Samsung Galaxy S9 and its intelligent scan face recognition technology, we wondered which is the best face unlocking mechanism that we can find on a smartphone today. So we have three phones, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, the Galaxy S9 Plus, and the iPhone 10. So each of these phones have different unlocking mechanisms. This has Face ID, this has intelligent scan, and this one has a basic face recognition technology. We're gonna try it out in different lighting scenarios, and at the end of the day, we're gonna figure out which is the most reliable and fastest unlocking mechanism among these phones. So let's try it out. <laughs> right, it is 1.30 p.m. We are outdoors. The sun is right above us. It's really hot. Uh, and we're gonna try to unlock all three phones. We're gonna start with the Galaxy Note 8. As expected, it unlocks pretty quickly. Uh, we will try now with the S9 Plus. And you can see the red light is checking. It's so fast, like I don't even have to explain it. Last one, the iPhone 10. Now, it's already unlocked because he has a race to wake and it immediately starts scanning for your face. I didn't even have to move anything. So I just have to swipe up and it's unlocked. No problems for all three phones under really hot sun. So this is pretty good news. But what happens when you're wearing a pair of sunglasses? Let's try it out. Let's do it with the Galaxy Note 8. It is not unlocking because it cannot recognize my face. I, it's, not, it's not recognizing my face at all. So let's move on uh, with the Galaxy S9 Plus. It's a bit difficult, it asks me to hold the phone closer. It's recognizing the irises. It is. It's not really working. And there you go. The thing is, it can recognize your irises. It just takes time to figure out where your face is and then it directs the iris scanner properly. So let's try it one last time with the iPhone 10. No problem. It just needs to get that face right. The dot projector just goes through the, the pair of sunglasses. The winner so far, by far, it's the iPhone 10. So we've tried unlocking our phones outdoors under the hot sun, but this is where we're going to unlock our phones most throughout the day, which is indoors under lots of artificial lighting. Like before, we're going to start with the Galaxy Note 8. There should be more than enough light. Yep, there should be more than enough light to use face recognition technology. Now let's try this with the Galaxy S9 Plus. If the Note 8 can do it, pretty sure that's not gonna be a problem. Yes, no problem at all. Now let's move on to our last phone, the iPhone 10. No drama, the padlock moves, it's all unlocked. So, we have tried to unlock our smartphones under the hot sun, both with and without sunglasses, as well as indoors with lots of artificial lighting. But what happens when you try to unlock your phone in the dark? So like before, I'm gonna start with the Galaxy Note 8 and let's try. I'm not very hopeful. So, yep, as expected. I'm moving my face around, can't really see anything. It just says, no face detected. Next, let's try the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Now this thing has an iris scanner, so I don't think there's gonna be any problems with unlocking in the dark. Let's give it a try. Hmm. As you can see, it's really, really quick, seamless, no problem at all. But I want you to look at this very, very closely. I'm gonna try this again one more time. When you're at the lock screen, it actually brightens the screen really, really high. Um, this one I feel is probably because it wants the uh, iris scanner to kind of locate the face first before it goes to the scanning. Uh, if you're going to be looking at your phone in the dark, especially when you're asleep or when you just wake up or you're wake, woken up in the middle of the night, this is going to be really bright and it's not very comfortable. Finally, we have the iPhone 10. Now this thing has its set of proprietary hardware and yes, it's unlocked. Uh, like I said, it has a Face ID proprietary hardware that comes with a laser dot projector. So this thing works in any lighting condition, no drama. The brightness of the screen doesn't go up, it just works. Right, so we've just gone through four different lighting scenarios with each of these three smartphones. One question remains, who is the winner of this face-off? Let's start with the Galaxy Note 8. Now this is the first generation face unlocking mechanism from Samsung and for the most part, it's good. It works well in various lighting conditions, even under bright sunlight, it recognizes your face really, really quickly and it unlocks almost instantaneously. The problem only comes when there is strong backlight from the back of your face or in 
complete darkness where the camera's not gonna be able to detect your face at all and it's not gonna unlock. You're better off using the pin or your fingerprint sensor. Now, the Galaxy S9 Plus is definitely an improvement over the Galaxy Note 8. Uh, the reason is that it combines the iris scanner with the face recognition technology. So in the event that the lighting condition isn't good enough, the iris scanner just jumps in. Uh, this is almost seamless. The most that you can find is like a one second delay or whatever. But what's important here is that it works even in the dark. Now that leaves us with the iPhone 10. What I can say about the iPhone 10 is that this is the most reliable face unlocking technology that is on any of the three smartphones that we've tested today. Even in the harshest of sunlight, when you're wearing sunglasses, and even in pitch darkness. This thing works reliably in any angle. All you need to do is post your face in front of the phone and it just unlocks. It just works all the time. The only drawback is that this is the most expensive smartphone that you can buy today. Unfortunately, good technology comes at a pretty high price.